Hey, Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzanon, MetabolicMasterpiece.com, here with the progress update. I am three weeks into this eight-week cutting phase. I started at 159.2 pounds. I'll have a link to that uh, initial video above here. I am now 154. So right on target, my goal was to hit uh, 1.5 pounds of weight loss for the first few weeks and slowly taper that down. And this is even with... Um, blowing my diet that first weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, overindulged. Uh, so really, really happy with seeing that scale weight go down, but really happy with what I'm seeing here. Definitely less fat in that lower belly area, even love handle area. A little more detail on the quads. They're not looking as full today. I'm not looking as full in general. Part of it is being in a deficit compared to the surplus where I was, I was finishing that bulk. Uh, the other thing is that uh, I just finished an upper body workout for that last video. Uh, so I definitely had a bigger pump in the chest, shoulders, and arms. Um, I like how everything's looking right now. Again, I wasn't, my legs, I wasn't able to really control them, contract them as much as I'd like to see. So I wasn't really able to get that quad sweep to pop out as much as I wanted to there. Really love the details in the shoulders there. Uh, if you look back to the first video three weeks ago, um, those shoulder details were not there. Happy with how the thighs and hamstrings look there. All in all, uh, happy the vascularity you're going to notice a difference in the vascularity and the biceps and shoulders there between the two videos and lower belly fat in that position as well back pose again one of my my favorite ones here always happy with my back you're going to see a bit more detail a bit more grainy there in the uh in the upper back area um as i'm about to bust into a back pose you're going to see more details more striations especially in the lower area this is where I carry the majority of my fat right now. The areas that I need to lose it, love handle. So it wraps right around the spare tire, basically. So wraps right around my lower belly, all the way around the lower back. So really that's where you're gonna start seeing the most uh, dramatic differences coming up. Now that I'm at this weight, things are really going to uh, start changing. This initial five pounds, it's not a dramatic difference um, other than uh, like that lower belly fat I'm seeing a bit less of even when I'm relaxed here this is a big difference from what I was seeing before when I'm relaxed and uh, but once I start posing here I can really tighten that sucker up so even seeing a bit of obliques there nice tricep detail especially that lateral head of the tricep that was already there a few weeks ago so um, not a huge difference in that area but definitely the lower belly definitely still seeing some of that lower ab there seeing a bit of oblique um, again, just not as full in the chest, arms as I was previously, but a lot of that had to do with the pump that I had going on. Here we're going to see a bit of a difference in the lower belly as well when I'm flexing for the quads and abdominals. So definitely that whole lower belly area uh, a lot tighter, even love handle area a lot tighter here. And that's something that you're really going to see improving in the upcoming videos. Definitely tough. I'm glad we're doing this uh, posing practice right now. It's great conditioning work. It's really a, you got to really learn how to control your breathing because you're really trying to blow out all your air and staying nice and tight. This is just one of my favorite little poses to, to kind of show off the obliques and abs. Nice and tight, little vascular in the arms. Again, pretty good for not having much of a pump for the upper body. I'm not too, not too upset with this. Again, still noticing chest is going to be the big thing that I bring up in 2016 for sure. All in all, really, really happy with what I'm seeing. Scale weight going down and details popping out all over the place, especially arms, shoulders, uh, and now lower abs. And here we got Rick, and we were just blown away with his, his legs. Um, this has been a big difference. If you go back to last year when we were doing um, posing practice, when he was getting shredded for his 51st birthday, sorry, 52nd birthday, um, his legs were not nearly this big. They were always shredded, but he's definitely added thickness. He's pointing to like the outer aspect, that quad sweep. A lot of it has to do with, I mean, he's gotten a lot better with working in the full range of motion with the legs. He's a lot more confident with leg exercises. Um, trying to think, well, I think the deadlift thing has really paid off. That's, that's given, he's always timid with his lower back, really worried about the his lower back. It was always tight. 
He didn't want to injure himself, so he never squat too deep or anything either. But the more we've been working in the deadlifts, he was really able to get down deep with his squats, with the hack squats, with the leg presses. Um, so it's made a huge difference. Now, looking nice and tight there as he's blowing out. Really see the details in his obliques. Arms are shredded. Now, Rick weighed um, over 50 pounds more than he is right now. Right now, he's around 168 um, he spent most of his adult life like 210, 212. Uh, so he's got a bit of loose skin there. Uh, it, if he didn't have that, I'm telling you, he would look freakishly shredded right now. He stays lean all year long, um, just looking superb. Can't wait to see the next five weeks, the progress that he has leading up to his next trip. Definitely inspiring for me. Hope it inspires you. Thanks for following our journey.